Hello and welcome to Dyson Demons. I'm Emma and today I'm back with another unboxing and this is also one that I have been looking forward to a lot. This is from uh, the green one and uh, they are making some really nice resin uh, casted uh, miniatures. I think it's all orcs and they do some really really cool stuff and so they reached out to me and asked if, uh, if they could send me some stuff. So full disclosure this is something that was uh, sent to me because I have this channel and uh, I haven't uh, been paid to promote them or anything, but uh, uh, it is something that was sent to me, just, so, just for full disclosure, so you know. But I have been looking forward to getting these so much. I, I have a few grots in my army so far, but uh, I mean, you can never have too, too many, right? And I have already warned them uh, from the green one that I am probably not actually going to paint them green, because my grots are pink, so uh, this is going to be awesome. So let's take a look and see what they have sent me. It's been really nicely wrapped. That's nice. It's always so sad when you get stuff that hasn't been wrapped properly and so it's just, you know, sort of broken on arrival. But that does not seem to be the case here. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. Which one to open first? Um, blue the one. Let's see. Oh, look at these guys. And it's cast in green. I don't know why, that just makes me so happy. It's it's much more fun when they're in green than when they're grey. Alright. These details already look really nice and sharp. Oh, look at this. This is a tiny grot. The or, I mean, on, on, their, um, on their side it says the goblins. So we'll call them, I'll try to recall, remember to call them goblins. So there's a little bit of flash here, but it's not too bad at all. You can just clear that away really easily and so this is uh, a goblin with a huge cigar in his mouth and then he's got like this nice uh, hat going on this is really cool and here's another one he's looking really angry and he's holding some sort of missile i think they are um i think at least i'll be using them as a crew for a new mech gun i'm getting uh, i uh, i do have two mech guns and one of them actually doesn't have a crew so i could i could use this for for that but it could also be like uh, an incentive to get a third mech gun because why wouldn't you um the details on these are just really really nice this is definitely quality resin casting that's for sure it, it looks really really nice yeah oh and there's more and this is another part of the crew i think Yeah. Oh yeah, and he, this one has got like some. Uh, he's got like um, I don't know, what's it called in English, like a monocle, like not a pair of glasses, but just for one eye. And he looks he looks like this weird sort of mad doctor type thing who is. Uh, I mean, I would not feel safe if he was in charge of anything that could blow up within like a uh, 500 miles radius from my home that's for sure it's so cool it looks great and the texture on the surface of these models is also really nice there's some sort of fur lining going on around uh, the trim of the of the neck and uh, and also on the back it's got a lot of different sort of textures on the surface which is really nice because that always adds a bit of visual interest uh, when you're painting it makes it much easier to paint stuff nicely very cool and let's take this one then. Okay. And here we have all the arms that you can attach because some of them only, most of them come with just one arm. Yeah. Or in this, the case of the guy with the cigar, no arms, and this guy also has no arms. So they come with arms that you can then uh, attach as you see fit, I think. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. So you can uh, 
they have all sorts of cool little arms. Some of them are like more like sort of ordinary uh, goblin arms, but there is also a bionic arm. Let's see if we can, I don't know if you can see how, uh, like this one here, like a bionic arm, which is really cool. I don't think I've ever seen a grub or a goblin with a bionic arm. So uh, that one will definitely be going on one of mine. That's for sure. Because if you get the chance of using like a bionic arm, you will go for it, right? And more arms. And the cool thing about this is actually that the arms are cast on top of something that looks almost like a barricade or something. So you could um, you can, you can take the arms off, and then you can just use the um, use the rest as a, as a barricade of some sort for your for your uh, battlefield. I think that is actually a really really nice detail because that means that you can do. Uh, more stuff with it. It's not just something that you're going to be throwing out. I'm uh, definitely going to just be painting these up and using them for barricades because why not? Um, and they're nicely detailed and they will, I think, paint up for, for the battlefield in no time. I think that's a really nice way of using the um, like the leftover resin that you would you get when you do um, something that you when you pour stuff in uh, in a mold. I don't know if this is uh, the way it's intended to be used, but that's uh, at least how I, I see it. it. Looks really nice, and the detail on all of this is nice. It needs a little bit of cleanup, um, but most stuff do, does, so that's, uh, that's totally fine. I'm just really happy that they're cast in green. I don't know why. I mean, I mean, it's from a company called The Green One, so why not? Oh, and here we have some heads. Oh, look! I have seen these on their Facebook page and they are so cool. They are for October and like Halloween-ish. So these are these are orcs uh, you wearing sort of Halloween face masks. So one is like an evil pumpkin and one is one of those... Um, I think it's supposed to be one of those serial killers from uh, like um, some sort of movie. I don't watch scary movies at all because I, I mean, I'm very easily frightened. So <laughs> I... Uh, uh, I, I'm not I'm not good at that stuff, so I, I'm not quite sure which one it's from, if it's like Friday the 13th or what. But it looks so, so cool. These are great. These are so much fun. Look. Oh, look. Tiny. Oh. <laughs> I particularly like the pumpkin one. That's fun. Uh, the others are really fun as well. Um, Perhaps I should put them on like some orcs and then they could be commandos because they'll be like, oh, look at us, we're wearing a face mask. Nothing to see here. We're just, um, you know, children doing trick or treating. I don't know. That's so fun. I'm really happy. Um, I'm also excited about the goblins, but, but these are just like an uh, unexpected treat and they're just hilarious. I love them. And here we have some more of the goblins. I'll just side oh they they look so cool and they look i mean they look definitely um different from the gw one but not so different that they would look out of place in an origami that was otherwise based on G gw um uh, models so this is really nice i really really appreciate these these are definitely going in my army they also have uh, the right size and everything oh yeah but they're very well detailed. I really like these. And here's one who's got like a really big bag. He's look, he looks like he's some sort of mechanic because he's got a screwdriver and stuff. Really cool. Yeah. This one is fun. He's holding like his uh, hand over his head like he's... Uh, where did that go? What What's happening here? He looks really confused. I'm not sure he wants... I don't, I don't think he wants to, to stay. Uh, on the battlefield. He just wants to run away. And here we have another one. He looks like he hasn't been fed properly. You can like see his spine on the back and stuff. It's really nice because, I mean, the grots obviously are not the most um, well-fed members of Orc society, I'm pretty sure. So this is really cool and I'm definitely looking forward to painting all of these guys up. It's just, uh, it's just going to be a lot of fun. So, um, Thank you so much to uh, the green one for sending me all of this stuff. I will uh, leave a link to their uh, to their Facebook uh, page uh, in the show notes and also a link to where you can buy their models. So uh, let me know what you think. Do you think, uh, especially these uh, like three Halloween heads, do you think they would work well as uh, as commandos? I, I think it would be fun. So uh, 
Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And remember, if you like this video, you are more than welcome, of course, to leave a like on this video, but also to subscribe to my channel and also to check out my uh, various other social media sites like uh, Instagram and Twitter, where you can also find me as Dyson Demons. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.